Hi, I'm Dominic Bender. Thanks for watching Dominic's Woodworks. And today I'll be making cat food station. Well, there are some things I should tell you about this project. It's been the, well, the most complicated and longest project I've done so far. And, well, it's actually not that complex a build, and it's not even pretty. It's meant to be functional, but in the process I had several setbacks and several learning experience on top of that. In the end, I was left with about 54 gigabytes of video material, which translates with my camera's crappy compression to five hours. And, well, one thing I realized is that I kept repeating myself and that I have this tendency of explaining what I'm going to do when I'm showing it to you in the next scene. So, I actually learned a lot about video making and about myself in this project, so I want to apologize in advance if it's slightly haphazard, probably because in the end I just wanted to get the damn thing done. So, enjoy the cat food station. So forget what I said in that scene that I didn't put in the video. I At first I thought about laminating these three and using a router to make the, the bowls. I have since decided that I'd rather take a different route. I will mark the extent of the bowl and I use a Fosner bit to drill the four corner holes with the, the right radius. Then use any any kind of saw really, jigsaw, compass saw, whatever comes to mind, to cut out this piece. Uh, for once I think it's, it's easier, it takes less time, and I also have a little piece of wood left that I don't need to turn into shreds using my rod. I marks, did it to this, I think the old school way is actually faster and easier. I'm using double sided tape to put these two together. It's not clued up yet, so let's call it a mock up. There are some things worth of, of note. One is, it's not pretty. I missed some of the marks with my personal bit, and in addition, the, the jigsaw kind of, well, in a few places it cut at an angle, even when it shouldn't, obviously. And here on the downside, literally. I got quite a lot of tear out, but it's not not meant to be pretty, it's meant to be functional. I made these bowls way too, way too large, way too deep. The main attraction for this is supposed to be this, for the, the dry food, with the auto replenish function. Since I won't be needing a whole, uh, the whole 18 centimeters of this board, I think I'll check whether I have scrap pieces of 5mm plywood to use as a bottom. This is what happens when you forget to plug in your dust collection on my way to a completely wooden router table. I do want a radius down here and I don't have it right now. So what I decided is to go the dirty road and use glue and small shavings to make wood putty and kind of smear this out.
Now comes the really messy part. So this has dried overnight, but as you can see, it's not completely cured. While waiting, I plunged through my well scraps. I found this, uh, and in the spirit of course woodworking, I'm using this. Right now the idea is to glue them in place and then use the same method with sawdust and glue to fill up the gaps. I decided to use this, this cutout as a clamping aid. So let's see what it got us. Oh, first I got the block stuck. I'm using a chisel for this, but it's one that I haven't sharpened yet, so... See what I mean. Still well within range of what I can do with the uh, sawdust. Speaking of sawdust, after, well, give or take 24 hours, this is well, quite hard, but as you can see from the coloration, it still needs to cure. The idea is to and then put it uh, here. But now I have a very angular problem. I cut all these pieces. Well, in a very simple way you saw that. I just drew the lines here, cut them out on the bandsaw. Then I took a cut off and I, I just used these pieces to cut off the, the, the matching sides. The intention is to have this on the back and these pieces over here can even clamp on in like this and make a, a square chute so basically I need to get from this point to the point there. Do the same on the other side. The workflow genius that I am. I made this side longer than that one, as you can see. The angle should, give or take, should be the same. I used this as a reference and just extended it. But I could probably make it easier for me, cutting this piece off, make it symmetrical. But right now I feel like taking on the challenge. So before I put these together, I'll chamfer them slightly. This is what, what happens when you pay more, more attention to placing a camera than placing the actual wood or marking the line you want to cut. Here's the piece. And let me put it in with the angles the correct way. Notice anything odd? Yes, I should have cut this line that I didn't even mark. What I am going to do is, I'm going to put it here, which also solves my problem. It means that now I have two symmetrical sides. There's a piece there. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Just jinxed it. Now, I think I could have gone away with half the size, but I'll take it upstairs to where it's supposed to go and to find it. 
and check with So reality has been checked to its satisfaction. It fits. What I can tell you is that I wouldn't recommend this idea, the complete smearing with wood putty. These on the other hand are easier, you don't need as much uh, basically glue. It's still not perfect and I think the perfect method would have been to go for the router with a cough bit. And part of me thinks that it would be easier to redo the whole thing using the router and to, to actually sand this flush. So two clear ups later, we're here. I think the problem is best illustrated with this. The piece was measured to fit, obviously, and it still fits on the left side, but less so on the right. So here we are, this fits better now. Using a piece of dowel, decide whether you want the knot in or not. I think using this will hide the, the imperfections. Oh well, that's, that's not really... Let me put it this way, using this will hide this imperfection pretty well and it will, it will cover up the rest. Like that. It will look quite intentional. Wood putty gets really hard, which would fit the, uh, the the idea that a glue bond in wood is stronger than the wood itself. The thing is, now I need to sand all of this. It'll be tedious and it won't make me happy. So what can we do about that? So I did some thinking and, well that's not true. After trying the rotary tool on this one and seeing how, yeah, how tedious it would be to get the edges straight and having no proper idea of how to do the radius, I have decided to actually go back and redo those bolts. How I will do that is, well, for me to show you. and to find out myself while doing this. Here I have my router with the guide brushing installed and I will be using these two bits. A dado bit and a cuff bit with the same diameter. 12 millimeters, about half an inch. So I put the cuff bit in and extended it as far as it would go, and it's not pretty. In retrospect, maybe it wasn't a good idea to glue up these boards, but as it happens, and I'd love to pretend that this was on purpose, I found another board that I can use to save on scrap. My first idea was to place the template maybe in this corner or here, like this. But then I remembered that I have to keep this whole monstrosity on the, on the board. adjustment thingy was misbehaving. The, uh, I lost the cap somewhere, I think I still have it in my, my router cabinet, but, uh, just to take a look. And from vibration it kept turning and turning and turning to the point where it wouldn't let me go through the board. So I want to continue, I don't want to search for this right now, so I'll remove the whole stop.
One thing I learned from it is that I didn't actually need to cut out anything. I would have retained larger cutouts and even nice rounded ones had I just used the router to cut this out. I'm glad I filmed this one, not this, because I, well, in terms of what I learned, don't reuse double-sided tape. Template shifted and I, well, you, you see. I use this little well, tool. I think it's meant to be put in a jigsaw, but I've never come around to that. This actually makes for some nice pattern. Maybe it's even something the cats find entertaining. Truth be told, I think I've spent enough time with these balls already, so this will do. So just need to make two more. Check up how they do. They already look better than the, the previous incarnation. It's quite nicely. So all that's left now is to put this one in place and coat at least these three bowls with epoxy. I've attached it using screws from down here and a piece of plywood with hot glue on the back. And I put these well, well, scrap pieces on with a little hot glue as well. Put some epoxy, mix it up, um, to keep on pouring. So let me give you a quick review of the mistakes I made. One, don't reuse double-sided tape. This should have been obvious to me. I've made the experience before that double-sided tape doesn't really stick anymore once you remove it. Next, don't glue up boards before you check that your tools can handle the thickness, like the cove bit in my router. Next, don't use wood putty for complex shapes that you can't sand properly. I think convex curves or surfaces would do okay, especially seeing how there are enough power tools to use on those. But for the inside of the bows, uh, definitely not a good choice. And last but not least, I won't try again to make a smooth surface with a curve bit, but before I show you a few images of the cat food station, and hopefully of some happy cats, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, check out the social media links in the end card, and if you like what I'm doing, consider supporting this channel on the Patreon page. Thanks for watching. I have holders for the hot air gun, the, um, what's it called? The thing to, to use, you no, know, biscuit, the biscuit thingy. That's it, Missy. So that's it, Missy. So that's it, Missy. Oh, that's supposed to be the mark, okay. I'm going to put some, Try for a minute. Let's see. No, I'm not. Let me take it. This piece sure doesn't like me. I'll take it over to the band so and show it with boss. Another reason I'm doing this is that I'm 